everyone! Previously I have shown you how to make this beautiful watermelon candy uh, container like this with candy inside here isn't this nice? Now I want to show you how to take the same container and make it into all kinds of different fruits and berries. Here I have a, can you guess what this is? It's a grape. Okay, so the grape over here and this is, hey, strawberry. I've even put some um, strawberry patterns on uh, here. Okay, so the strawberry, lemon, orange, and hey, what's this? Ghost fruit. No, it's not. It's going to be a um, dragon fruit that is all pink and I'm going to show you how I paint it. So from this to all these different fruits and berries. Let me show you how. First, I'm going to show you how to mix the pink, the bright pink uh, dragon fruit color. So I'm using uh, this very bright pink here and um, adding a bit of white, mixing it up. Looks like I put a bit too much white in there, so I'm going to add more uh, pink, mixing it together. Perfect. Then I open my container. In my last video, I showed you how to make this container. So just watch that video again and then make six containers for six different colors. Okay, so start with painting the outside. Then I let that dry. Then I paint the lid, making sure I don't get any pink on this side because that's inside the dragon fruit and the dragon fruit is white with spots. Like that. Now when this one is reasonably dry I can paint the inside of this one as well because that is the skin of the dragon fruit and it's bright pink. Now I leave this to dry. And while it's drying, why don't you add me on Snapchat? Next, I'm gonna paint the small green spikes on the uh, dragon fruit. They look a bit like this. Coming up like this, and they're pointy, and going down like that. But they're not cream white like I paint now. They're actually green. I just put in white first, so that the green have a base. Then they will look brighter and nicer. Next, I add the bright green, especially on the tips of the shapes that I just uh, painted. And I leave a little bit of the creamy white uh, at the end down here. Then I repeat this on all these spiky green little shapes. There, next, black uh, spots, but I have to fix the white first. I've been spilling a bit here, because this is the inside of the dragon fruit, and uh, it's pure white with black spots, small black spots. Starting on the inside, and the outside. There, now, I let this uh, dry over here, and then let's figure out what other kind of patterns we need for the other fruits and berries. Let's take the strawberry first. Then we need white to start off with for the green little thing that is uh, at the end of the berry or the top of the berry or whatever. Because if we go straight with green, the green would mix with the red color underneath and uh, make it dark. So we need to whiten it first. So we paint it white. And then I let that dry. On top of the white, we paint green. And at the same time, I bring out the uh, dragon fruit and I paint with the same green, uh, just the tips strengthen the green color over here, like that. Then I continue with these little seeds on the strawberry. Notice that there is a dark area of shadow around the seeds. So I start with making dark areas everywhere. So this is how I made them with dark red paint. When it's dry, I start adding in the little strawberry seeds right in the middle of these dark areas. So I just pop them on like that. Okay, now what we need is a little bit of shadow 
under the green thing to lift it up a bit, you know, to make it more three-dimensional. And here is a darker green color I can use as shadow color. So I add the shadow just on the side, just here. Next, let's do the uh, lemon. A lemon is quite easy. We just gotta put a uh, green thing at the end here. Start with a bit of dark green. Add some white spots. Next, we do the orange. I add a little uh, thing um, here. And then I use a tiny brush and I have mixed a darker orange, which is a little bit darker than this one. And I'm gonna make a lot of little dots to get that structure of the orange. So a lot of tiny little dots. And by the way, the little dots will become darker as uh, they dry. So they're more visible um, for you. So in a second, I'll show you. Don't worry about it. Then I continue on the side and basically all around the orange. And finally, a little button at the other end of the orange too. So there. Okay, next we have the grape. It's just got one little button at this end. I can use two green colors, one dark one, and then mixed with a lighter one. There, done. Now let's have a look at all of them. We have the original uh, watermelon, grape, the orange, dragon fruit, the strawberry, and the lemon. Now we have all six uh, fruits and berries but it's painted on the outside. You see, you have the outside uh, pattern. But how about the inside? Well, you see, inside they're all different. This one is finished. It's like this on the outside and like that on the inside. So this one is, uh, the watermelon is finished. What else is finished? Well, this one is finished, the dragon fruit. It's pink and green on the outside and then white uh, black spot on the inside. I think all the rest are not finished yet. So let's see how we can treat them. Because these two have quite distinct difference from outside and inside. So they're easy to figure out. The rest, not that easy to figure out how to do it. So I'm gonna take one at a time and then do my best. We'll start with the orange. I'm gonna mix a little bit of um, the color we just had, the orange, with a bit of white, mixing it a bit, so that we can try to create a sort of a general orange looking structure uh, inside. So we can have a little bit of lighter color at the bottom, and then we can have little dots like this that uh, fleshy sort of structure in the orange. We can let them have a little bit of um, difference in color. Some can be whiter, other can be more orange. Give it a bit of variety, like that. And then we can do the same thing on the inside. There. I think that looks pretty orangey, don't you? Okay, let's do the lid. Same treatment. There, finished. Next is the lemon. And I think I will go for a similar treatment for the lemon. I'll take a little bit of yellow, mix it with white, and then give it a sort of a delicate sort of light yellowy structure inside. There, and then the other part. And the inside. Okay, that's the lemon finished. The strawberry, similar treatment. Then the inside, and I'm gonna paint a little sort of white star coming out from the center with a bit of pure white in the center here. Oh, that looks a bit strawberry-like. Okay, then the lid. Okay, done. Finally, the grape. Mixing a bit of the purple with white, maybe a bit of red as well. And then creating a bit of texture here on the outside. And the grape is finished. Now all the containers are finished and I'm going to fill them up with candy. Oh, yes. Oh, isn't that a beautiful sight? Okay, as you can see, you got 
color candy that matches the, the color of the containers. So let's uh, see, okay, the orange goes here, orange goes here, the yellow goes here, and then the reds, they go in here, the pinks, they go in here, and the bluey purple goes in here, and the greens, they go in the watermelon over here. Okay, so I'm now going to fill them up. Oh, finished. What a nice, beautiful fruit and berry buffet. Now I'm going to put the lids on. Very exciting to see what they will look with the lids on. Oh, gorgeous. Strawberry, lemon, dragon fruit, orange, grape and watermelon. What a beautiful collection. Aren't they beautiful? You can study them from all angles. Oh, nice. Beautiful colors. So now it's up to you to come up with your favorite fruit and berry design and figure out how to paint the colors, how to mix the colors. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy a little uh, strawberry uh, snack. Mmm, oh, lovely.